The topic that I want to discuss tonight is is a very important one. Uh, it affects Miami fundamentally. It affects uh, all parts of the world fundamentally. Uh, and that is the challenge of sustainable development and notably the challenge of sustainable development in the United States uh, with an eye towards the role of business. Uh, I'm very happy to be speaking uh, at the business school uh, today. Business has a huge role to play. Uh, it's not playing that role uh, as well as it should be in several sectors. And I want to make uh, some points about that this evening. The idea of sustainable development is quite straightforward. Uh, it is that our societies should be prosperous and also socially inclusive so that the prosperity is widely shared, not just enjoyed by the few, but enjoyed by everybody. And that that prosperity should be consistent with environmental sustainability. That means that we have three objectives, not just one objective. Uh, the economic objective is clear enough. We hear about it every day. Did the economy grow 2%? Did it grow 3% and so forth? But the other two objectives, social inclusion and environmental sustainability of course, we know are central for our lives, but we tend not to have the headlines about them, except in crises, when disaster strikes the environment, when a hurricane is bearing down on Miami, or uh, when we have uh, evidence of the massive inequalities of well-being in our country, such as the recent data showing the declining life expectancy in the United States during the past two years, an absolutely startling phenomenon. Sustainable development says we can do better than that, that we should have an economy that it functions at a high level of productivity, a high output per person, a high GDP per capita, but also an economy that is fair and is environmentally sustainable. And I think the single most important point I would say as an economist is that there is nothing in the market economy that by itself ensures sustainable development. A market economy is pretty good at promoting economic growth because the market economy unleashes a, a lot of uh, forces for seeking profits, for introducing uh, new technologies uh, for making money. And in a broad sense, a market economy stimulates a lot of energy, uh, a lot of innovation, and it produces uh, a lot of economic growth. Our country is rich, $62,000 per person in the United States, the richest large country in the world by far. And worldwide, we are achieving economic growth. Every year, the world economy grows between three and 4% per year, which means that the overall world economy covering 7.7 .7 billion people is doubling approximately every 20 years in magnitude. That's remarkable. So a market economy does a pretty good job of economic development, but by itself, it has absolutely no guarantee that that economic growth will be broadly shared. And in fact, as everybody knows, in the United States, the inequality of income and wealth has been soaring for now 40 years. We've been on a path of increasing inequality, super rich together with a lot of people struggling day by day, week by week to make ends meet. And there's absolutely nothing in a market economy that ensures environmental sustainability. Uh, the damage that the world economy does to nature, 
uh, is pretty much not uh, priced at all in the market system. The climate change disaster, uh, which is caused largely by the use of fossil fuels, uh, is not only uh, addressed by the market economy, it's actually encouraged by the the real uh, economics that we have today, which subsidizes the fossil fuel industry massively around the world. The destruction of biodiversity, the loss of forests, the overfishing of the oceans, all of these phenomena are essentially what economists call externalities to the market system. They're not taken into account in our individual decision making or the decision making of businesses. So we know that we have a, a real crisis and that is we've designed, constructed step by step a world economy that is vast, that is increasingly prosperous and that is also increasingly unfair and increasingly dangerous for our very survival. And it's in that context that we look to sustainable development to help get us out of this mess. The concept of sustainable development has been around for a little over 30 years. It was introduced in a famous report led, uh, headed by Dr. Gru Brundtland, uh, then the Prime Minister of Norway in 1987. And it was adopted actually by all of the UN nations in 1992 at the Earth Summit in uh, Rio de Janeiro. But we have adopted the goal, but we haven't actually pursued sustainable development. And I don't think it would be a shock for you to know that the very concept is outside of our politics in this country. Uh, and is uh, certainly not heated in Washington moment by moment, day by day, year by year. Uh, we're one of the uh, poor examples of countries uh, in terms of how we structure things, because in our country, everything is for the bottom line of uh, economic growth and profits. And there's very little attention uh, to either the social or the environmental dimensions. One of the consequences of that temperature rise is the very real risk, as you know in Miami, of catastrophic sea level rise. Miami is at sea level. It's already suffering flooding in high tide. The sea level is already rising. But what the climatologists are telling us is that the rise could be measured not in a foot or two this century, but in yards or meters this century. If the Earth's history repeats itself, we're just about at the temperatures where the ice sheets of Antarctica and Greenland are at risk of catastrophic collapse. And catastrophic collapse means nothing other than the disappearance of Miami from the map, actually, if that were to happen, it would be completely unmanageable. But this is the kind of threat that we are unfortunately courting by our so far inability to take seriously this idea of sustainable development. So we're putting out so much CO2 that if we continue to do this, Miami will be underwater uh, in a disaster sometime this century with a reasonable probability. I'm thrilled that uh, University of Miami uh, is uh, taking on these challenges in many, many ways across the university at the business school, uh, in your ecosystem uh, center and in many other areas. And I hope that we have the chance to work together. Uh, the United States has a little bit of catching up to do and a lot of leadership that we could be contributing. We really can go to the moon and we really can achieve sustainable development. And it's uh, important for us and for the world that we do so. First, uh, I'm delighted to hear about the master's, uh, uh, the new master's degree. That's very exciting. Uh, and that would be, uh, I'd like to 
uh, learn more about it and also give it some publicity if that'll be helpful. But the idea of sustainable business uh, as, as a focus for a master's degree is absolutely wonderful. And uh, I'll be delighted to uh, uh, exchange some ideas about that and uh, if, if anything that I said would, would be helpful as well. So my view is when you teach sustainable business uh, in your new master's program, you're going to be empowering the really successful businesses of the future. They're going to want to go that way because that's the way that markets and regulation are going to be pushing us for our good.